Peace family. Welcome back to our credit healing channel. So today we're going to be discussing how you can remove hard inquiries from your credit report within 24 hours. Now, we're going to be discussing the do's and don'ts, what you should do and what you should not do as it relates to removing and disputing your hard inquiries because there are methods that you should not take, the methods that, that you should take. And so we want you to be able to know these things. Now, for those of you who are disputing online, we do not recommend this. So please do not go about disputing your hard inquiries online because it's pretty much going to prolong the process and cause you to be, you know, basically become frustrated. Now, for those of you who are disputing your hard inquiries via letter mail, this is a process and you can get your hard inquiries removed by letter mail, but you won't be able to do it within 24 hours because obviously when you send out the letters, it's going to take anywhere between three to five days. Uh, for it to reach the credit bureaus and then it takes them 30 to 45 days to respond and then obviously the letters has to come back to you um to which you will actually receive a response so that method also is not the best method to get heart increase removed within 24 hours we're going to be discussing the methods and strategies the best ones and the ones that you should not take as it relates to getting them removed within 24 hours all right let's go ahead and delve into it how to dispute now this is the method that you're going to take very easy strategy. However, it can take some time um, depending on who, what lender you call, what creditor you call, and how long it's going to take you to be able to reach them. But basically, what you're going to do is the best method is to call them, call the creditor and call them directly. Okay. So you call them directly and you'll dispute and you'll give them a reason as to why the hard increase should not be on your credit report. There are many reasons why. And a lot of people, obviously, they go through certain situations as it relates to hard increase. They did not know that it was going to you report it um they was not aware of it so we're going to be discussing four to five different strategies and methods that you can use to get them removed number one the inquiry was made without your permission now there are many creditors when they're trying to hurry up and offer some type of lending or if you go to a car dealership they'll try to just hurry up get your information and then what they'll do is that they'll just run your credit and they many times they'll run it multiple times now also if you go to Many of the different um, furniture stores, they don't tell you that they're going to place a hard inquiry on your credit report. You may think that they're getting your social simply because they want to get your identity, but no, they don't want you to know that they're going to run your credit and put a hard inquiry on your credit report. And many people are denied, and yet they still have a hard inquiry that's on their, their credit report. So obviously, the what you would like to tell them is that you did not have knowledge about this or you did not give them permission who places hard inquiry on your credit report. Tell them the representative you spoke to, tell them, hey, look, this should not be on my credit report. I was not aware. And obviously, if they are a good company, they're gonna go ahead and send to the credit bureaus that it should be removed. Two, inquiry error. Now, as we just discussed, many of these hard inquiries or these car dealerships, what they'll do is that they'll place the hard inquiry on your credit report, but they'll do it multiple times. I get clients that tell me that all the time. Hey, look, I, you know, I went to go get a car, but then when I went to go get a car, what happened was the car dealership, they ran my credit five times and it, you know, and it's reporting and it looked bad on my credit report. Why is that the case? Well, because they're shopping around. Okay. So they're shopping around and everyone is not approved, obviously. And if that happens, then obviously it's going to damage your credit score. Now they do have a certain uh, amount of time to actually shop around, but obviously when you have more inquiries that are on your credit report and you try to get some, something such as a credit card or a loan, when they see the hard inquiry, they're going to see what, well, you know, they were denied, uh, you know, funding here. So that can also raise a red flag. So what you want to do is you want to let them know that they ran your credit multiple times and they placed a hard inquiry on your credit report multiple times and this damaged your credit score. And this also caused you to be denied funding in other areas. So let them know that there was an inquiry error on your credit report, and yet now you want it to be removed from your credit report and you demand that it be removed. Number three, lack of knowledge about the hard inquiry. Now, as I have just stated, that there are many companies where that they try to hurry up and run your credit. Well, obviously what happens is when they run your credit, it lowers your credit score. Many times they do not care about letting the consumer know whether or not it's going to damage or lower your credit scores. All they're trying to do is just get brownie points from their company because they want to say, well, you know, this person was approved. Then obviously that looks good on their record. Well, if you are 
uh, a person who went to a lender and you're trying to get some type of funding, or if you went to a car dealership, you're trying to go to rooms to go or anywhere, what happens is they will run your credit. And many times the representative, they will not tell you. They will not tell you that it's going to damage your credit score. They want you to believe that it's going to be a soft inquiry. And when they ask for your personal information and you fill out the application, they don't, while they have a discussion with you, they don't plainly state, hey, this is going to be a hard inquiry on your credit report. I just want you to know this. Why? Because they're trying to get the sale. So let them know that you had a lack of knowledge about this particular hard inquiry being reported onto your credit file. You thought that was going to be a soft pull, but yet it was a hard pull and it lowered your credit scores. Number four, withdrawn or canceled application. Now, you've started to go through the process of filling out the application, right? So you've submitted your information, your personal information, your social, because they need that. And then once you have submitted it, you decided that, well, I, you know, I'd rather not go this route. I'd rather not go with this lender, but yet you still have a hard inquiry on your credit report. Well, what you can do is when you call them, let them know, Hey, look, what I did, it was, I absolutely complete the application. However, I decided to cancel the application. Therefore it should not be replaced on my, uh, credit report because obviously I did not go through with the process. Let them know that plain and simple. If you have a good representative, they will then obviously uh, either transfer you to the um, the credit department or they'll just speak to a supervisor. And when they do that, they'll then just send information over to the credit bureaus to let them know to remove it from your credit report. So obviously when you have this type of interaction with the representatives, they know that, hey, look, this person called about this hard inquiry. They're trying to get approved for X, Y, and Z. And we want to help this particular individual. This is a, a loyal a client or customer or this person obviously did this a mistake so let them know hey look i withdrew the application i canceled it therefore i did not want to go through with it and the hard inquiry should not be on my credit report and number five inquiry made under false pretenses what is this as i said that there are basically many creditors and many people that work for these creditors they will then tell you something that is not true so if you're trying to apply for something, make sure that you get the representative's name or their uh, ID number so you can make sure that you can keep track of everything that's going on. So what you will do is that when you call them, you can let them know, hey, I was coming in for this particular aspect or what or I'm trying to do this. But then the representative, you know, whoever their name is, told me that they would be able to help me and they got my information. And what they did was they ran my credit and they ran my credit. This then lowered my credit scores. They did not tell me that that was going to happen. They did not make me aware of it. There was nothing that I signed or read that said that it's going to place a hard inquiry on my credit report. And they understand and know that if you go about this route, that you can actually sue them if they don't just get it removed. It's very simple for them to do it. And obviously you want them to know that it's very simple. And if they are, again, a good creditor, a good company, a good local branch, they will then do it. They will go ahead and get it removed because obviously they want the best for the consumer and they don't want for people to obviously leave bad reviews. So again, these are five different ways that you can actually get your heart increase removed from your credit report. The main thing is you want to actually call them and you can get it removed within 24 hours. All right, fam, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com. If you need to improve and heal your credit, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace. Ready to strategize your credit journey like a grandmaster in chess? Meet Chess, our game-changing revolutionary software that's meticulously designed to help you easily navigate the intricate board of credit with masterful precision. Checkmate your financial challenges and pave the way to victory effortlessly spot issues. Allow Chess to dive deep into credit reports and instantly highlight derogatory items. Manage disputes like a pro, from intricately crafting the perfect dispute letters to quickly deleting your negative items. Chess does it all. Introducing your Executive Credit Suite, a sophisticated user-focused interface that elegantly captures the complexities of your credit journey. Amplify your financial legacy Need to boost your scores in seven days? Harness the unmatched power of our elite authorized user trade lines and credit builder tools. Build strong business credit. Harness the power of our AI business credit builder like never before. Play your debt moves strategically, like a chess master plotting the board. 
Arm yourself with adept debt elimination tools, guiding your path to a checkmated debt-free life. Empowerment through education. Yearning for financial wisdom? Equip yourself and your children with deep insights into credit and finances, fostering a future of financial savviness. Knowledge unleashed. Empower yourself with the intricate art of mastering and leveraging credit. Feeling the call of empowerment? Make the first move to control your credit destiny. With our credit healing engine and system software, master the complex board of credit. And here's your opening gambit. Access our powerful software for free. Just purchase your three bureau credit report. Let's turn your financial challenges into a checkmate. Stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what to do.